Today, we need to talk about Jungkook claiming that some fans have ruined a surprise. I want to get into people saying Jungkook and Addison Rae are doing something together and being intimate. And then we have a dispatch picture trending. So hey, dumplings, it's Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab your dumpling, a tasteful mug merch, and let's go. Jungkook recently just finished the Global Citizens show and it was definitely a big deal. It's a great show and everyone who got to go got to see a great show. I'm sure loads of that will be posted online if not already. Jungkook ended up going back to the hotel, live stream, went to bed, and then headed back to the airport the next day. He is now currently back in Korea. When he appeared at the airport in Korea, he was greeted with a lot of reporters and fans that showed up. This definitely isn't unusual for him, but given the obsessively large crowd that exists when he was in New York, there was definitely a lot of people that were on edge to see another airport appearance so soon. If you're not aware, there tends to be a bigger crowd when the members are actively promoting and making music. When the members are more doing solo activities like being in a movie, commercial, or just filming something abroad but it just has not been released yet, there are definitely crowds but it seems to be almost feral when the crowds exist after a music video promotion. I think many reporters there are starting to feel a bit more responsible for the conditions of these airports and it being very unsafe. The only reason why fans know to show up are usually from the news reporters live streaming the airport appearance. And they'll do it a couple of hours before the idols show up because they don't know exactly to the minute when the idol will show up. So doing it an hour before gives anyone the opportunity to just hop in a cab and rush over to the airport to greet him. There's also fans who calculate the time. So, you know, Jungkook is finished with his New York schedule. You assume he's going to come back. So you go to the airport and check and you see a huge crowd there so you assume you're in the right area. People will dedicate an entire day to idol spot and do that. So Dispatch Korea actually posted something to let armies know about airport etiquette. This is very important obviously because of the craziness that just happened and if the new sites didn't warn fans or let them know I can't help but feel like they may feel somewhat responsible if something does happen to Jungkook. Dispatch in the beginning of the stream held up a sign that read please respect Jungkook's privacy and gave him space. Don't run towards him. Let's show our love and kindness together. Jungkook loves us. Thank you for your understanding. This also further shows us that the news reporters are there to do a job. This is not just a form of the news trying to stalk Jungkook or people there being sasangs. The news sites are literally asked to be there and their job is to report the story and sell the story. Artists want that exposure and anything an idol does at the airport Report ends up being a big headlines. So it just serves as a way to better promote the idol and the idol doesn't have to do anything extra. It is a show. It's not them having a private moment and news shows up to bother them. The whole point is to have a show. The picture of the note and disclaimer that Dispatch showed ended up going viral on social media and people were saying that it's definitely a much needed message. Jungkook also seemed to have a great time and he seemed really happy at the airport. He also unveiled something very cool during the Global Citizens Festival, which I am sure he is not only hyped for, but everyone else is too. During rehearsals, Jungkook played a teaser or trailer on the big screen at the event. The video ended up being revealed and officially posted as the 3D song that Jungkook will release very soon. So this is the teaser for what is believed to be the music video. During the live stream that Jungkook did right after the show, Jungkook talked about the video and said that he initially planned for the video to just be be on the screen to be seen after his performance. People would then record it and get a good shot of the screen and the video would circulate to serve as a gift to those armies that could not attend. As the armies would obviously see it before the official trailer drops and then everyone else sees it. However, Jungkook during the stream talked about how when this was recorded during the rehearsal, it ruined the surprise and he was very upset. To call out the person who initially leaked it and said that it was supposed to just be a surprise and hopefully the surprise didn't get ruined too much before the official teaser drops. But I don't exactly think it's entirely fair to blame armies or any person who had sat there or was waiting there during Jungkook's rehearsal. We saw that when Jungkook did the GMA performance, fans were lining up days before the actual show. So of course there's going to be a lot of armies and fans waiting during the rehearsals or sound check. Of course, during rehearsal, it makes sense to play all the material that will be played during the show, but obviously all the people that will be 
at the show watching Jungkook are likely there at soundcheck. So everything should be covered if they don't want any surprises leaked. Jungkook could have also played a random music video or played the seven music video on the screen because the whole point of playing something on the back screen during rehearsals is to see if the screen looks good and works. So that's my take on that. I feel like it's very natural for an army to see Jungkook on stage and then start recording. So naturally it would get out. But maybe next time and make a note to only post something when after the show is officially over. And then all of the material will be online anyway. But either way, Jungkook didn't seem too upset and I doubt any of this actually affects anything that he is dropping right now. It's very exciting and it's believed to be a music video and song called 3D and it will feature the rapper Jack Harlow, which is such a random rapper, but definitely a good choice. I like that Jungkook and BTS members don't always pick the biggest names to feature in their songs, but they pick someone that is actually really talented because if they decide to feature one of the top names in the industry, one, it's very expensive, and then two, most fans and people are going to think they're only picking this artist because the artist has clout and they're going to be accused of trying to get clout. Whereas if Jungkook is bigger than the artist that he works with, then no such claims are going to go towards him. And that's good. The music video got a bit of an interesting theory that happened. This theory is really a bit crazy. People think that Addison Rae, the TikToker, actually might be in Jungkook's 3D music video. So why do they think that? Well, first off, Addison is a singer and musician now. That definitely makes sense why she would be asked. The second reason is because apparently around the same time, Jungkook and Jack were believed to be in New York. Addison posted about New York as well. She also posted a photo of sweet corn ice cream and then thanked Jungkook for recommending it to her. She posted another story right after to say that she is absolutely obsessed with the snack and can't stop eating it. When Jungkook dropped the 3D music video teaser, it was all white. And then people looked at what Addison was wearing in her post and it was a white shirt. So people concluded that she might be in the music video as a love interest or whatever. Now publicly, I don't think Jungkook has ever recommended the sweet corn ice cream. This is definitely something you'd need to be an army for in order to watch those more specific BTS videos and then catch that he enjoys that specific snack. And she definitely could be a big BTS fan. We won't know until the video drops. But I do think this is an interesting theory. However, I don't know how plausible it is. People thinking that the music video might be Addison Rae and Jungkook kissing as they might be love interests or whatever, I don't know how plausible that is. Jungkook came to New York with everything already, meaning he came to New York with the teaser, with the choreography, everything. Meaning if Addison and Jungkook were filming something together, it likely would not be in New York. They would have filmed something already somewhere else because Jungkook literally came to New York, did Global Citizens, and then went back to Korea. When did he have time in there to literally shoot a whole music video, which would be like at least a few days to do? So I don't think Addison and Jungkook were together, but it's very possible that Jungkook made that ice cream snack very popular and Addison just tried it and posted about it. Addison wearing white, not really a thing that wouldn't happen normally. People wear white all the time. Is this to say there's no possibility of the two being in the video together? No, there's a chance for this, of course, but is it a big one? I honestly doubt it. I would honestly be surprised if this actually happened and we got to see them together. And even if they do get together, it doesn't mean they're love interests. The song might not even be about that. So we don't know anything yet. Let me know what you think. Make sure to check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thank you so much for the lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.